Hello everybody, Andrew Majeski here with Dental L Mobile Hygiene. I am going to talk to you guys about something that will probably change your whole perspective on dental, on oral health, on oral hygiene, all of that. So you have been told for years, depending on how old or how young you are, you've been told every six months or at least every time you go to the dentist, you need to brush and you need to floss. 90% of my patients do not pick up a floss at least every day. You know, that's what we say is ideal. Pick up the floss every day to get in there, to get that plaque that's in between the teeth. But what if I told you that that's not the be all end all. There are other things that you can do and you don't have to floss every day, okay? I know, weird, but I'm going to explain that a little bit for you. But what you do have to do, so let me just kind of take it back a little bit, is I do still suggest picking up a toothbrush every day, twice a day, so brushing the teeth morning and night. Not just because I want you to make things easier for me when I clean your teeth, less plaque, less tartar makes things easier for me, makes things easier for you, but just your overall health. Because if you think about it, your health is dependent first of what's inside your mouth because every time you eat something, it goes through your mouth, right? So if the mouth isn't healthy, the rest of your body is not healthy either. They are starting to find, I mean, not starting to find, but they have found links for people who have poor oral hygiene. So if they have a lot of plaque, a lot of tartar, their gums are in bad shape, they are at a greater risk for arthritis, for heart attacks, for a stroke, for all kinds of things. So it is good to brush every day, twice a day. But I'm going to change things though a little bit for you and take it a step further. So what if you are you know, thinking to me or, or saying to me? So you're, you're thinking to yourself, but you are saying to your dental hygienist, I brush every day, once a day. I don't have time to do it twice a day. Or I floss maybe once a month when something gets stuck in there. That's, that's just how it is. You are used to your dental hygienist telling you, well, you have to brush twice a day. You have to floss every day. Thank you. Bye. See you in six months, right? Well, I'm going to change things for you. So it's more dependent on your customized needs. So let's just say you do not get any cavities but your gums are in bad shape. So let's say every time you brush, the gums bleed a little bit, or the gums bleed a lot, or your gums are sore, your gums are tender. You might not go to the dentist often because your gums are sore, and you know that, that when you get your teeth cleaned, they're going to be sore still because we do have to clean in there to get the plaque and tartar out of there. Well, what if I told you that I can actually give you tools to help make the gums less sore? So everybody's situation is different. So if you don't get cavities, but the gums are more of an issue, we would suggest something to you like a rinse, a mouthwash, something like that to help to get underneath the gums a little bit more. And keep up with the brushing twice a day, morning and nighttime, but making sure to brush along the gum line. So I talk a little bit about this in another video, but I had ordered a bunch of new toothbrushes. These are amazing toothbrushes, not because they come in some pretty cool colors, but what I like about them is on the brush head, there's 5,000, oh sorry, the video just kind of blurred out on me. There's 5,000 plus um, bristles. So there's 5,460, that's a lot. That is like any other toothbrush. But what does that mean exactly? That means that it is able to clean more thoroughly. But what I like even more is that on the handle, it is designed in such a way that when you actually hold it, it angles the toothbrush into the sulcus more because we will always say to angle the toothbrush into the gum line and you're kind of going, okay, how do I do that? Your dental hygienist should be showing you how, but if they haven't yet, this handle is a no brainer because if you just simply hold it and there are videos online that I did upload to my page on Facebook, so have a look. I can leave the link for you guys on the bottom, but it shows you how to brush and get deeper into the gum line because if the gums need the help, you, you need to be cleaning those gums more 
thoroughly. And it's not all about flossing every day. It's not always about that. Yes, that is ideal, but there are so many patients that just simply won't do it. So we, we, we want you to do something else, right? Anything you are able to do, we're so happy to get in there. And brushing twice a day is one of those things. And these brushes help to get in between the teeth a little bit more because they're more concentrated. So 5,000 plus bristles, I think it's like 5,460 to be exact, helps to get in there a little bit better. But take it a step further and use something like a mouth rinse. Not all of them are compatible. Stay away from a mouth rinse with alcohol in it. Alcohol just dries out your gum tissues more, making matters worse. This one is alcohol free. It is a neutral pH and has 10% xylitol. So what is xylitol, do you ask? Xylitol is something that everybody needs because it actually helps to neutralize our mouth's pH. So our saliva inside our mouth can become acidic depending on what we're eating and what we are drinking. Some people have more acidic saliva to begin with. Those people usually get a lot more cavities. They might be eating fine, they might be drinking a lot of water, they might be brushing twice a day, yet every time they go to the dentist, they have six cavities. That has something to do with something a lot more, such as the pH of their saliva. So they also need a mouth rinse to help to neutralize that pH so that bacteria doesn't have a chance to form a cavity. Um, there's many different types to form a cavity, but the main one is called Streptococcus mutans. Just in case you wanna know, just in case you wanna tell your friends, <laughs> Streptococcus mutans causes cavities. With a mouth rinse with xylitol in it, that will actually not allow that bacteria to form. If the bacteria doesn't form, you don't get cavities. How simple is that? So I focus on more than just simply brushing and flossing, but I kind of take everybody's individual needs and determine what they need. You know, if a patient tells me that, well, I'm not going to floss ever, so too bad, that's okay. I'm going to look at their mouth and see what else they might need. Their gums might be fine, but not so fine because they bleed a lot, but they might look okay. But when I'm cleaning underneath the gum line, they might bleed a lot. That's not a good sign. But that doesn't mean necessarily that you need to floss every day. It is ideal. We love it when you do. But if somebody's not going to do it, I'm not here to lecture you for half an hour to do it because you're not going to listen to me, right? It's just you're not going to. So do other things. So if your gums are bleeding, you will probably be seeing your dental hygienist every three months instead of every six months because if you're not flossing every day, we need to get in there a little bit more and we will likely give you a mouth rinse. Make sure you are using the right toothbrush and the right toothpaste. So toothpastes, for the gums isn't the biggest deal. You know, any toothpaste might work, but cavities is something else. If you're getting a lot of cavities, yet you're, you're drinking water, you, you brush every day, twice a day, you might even use the floss every day or every other day, but you're still getting a cavity every time you come in, that's not a good sign. Something's up. You need a different toothpaste because likely the pH in your mouth is off a little bit. So we have toothpaste for that. Kids and adults, you will not find these in stores, of course, because you can probably misuse them, you know, eat them, hurt yourself, whatever. So it is by the guidance of a dental professional. So if you are a child, let's say you're three years old, you have a lot of cavities, that's not normal. But you were probably always taught, well, if you get cavities, then you need topical, um, topical fluoride at, at the very least. Well, if your child's three years old, they can't have that because if they can't spit the toothpaste, they'll be eating the toothpaste and that will make them sick because it's not meant to be ingested. Well, we have something that doesn't contain any of that. We have something that contains 25% xylitol. So xylitol is the same thing that I talked about that is in the mouth rinse. Same thing for kids. This will actually help to neutralize their pH 
and stop all of that bad stuff from forming in the first place so they can't get cavities. So all in all, a xylitol toothpaste is even better than saying, well, you need a fluoridated toothpaste. This is even better because what the research has shown is if somebody is getting a lot of cavities, their pH is off. So even if we say, well, you need something with uh, uh, the fluoride in it, well, it won't work as well. So think about it like this. Fluoride is more to protect areas, to protect the teeth from becoming weak, from becoming thin, which is still a great thing to have, trust me. But a lot of us need something more. We need something to actually stop those acids from forming in the first place. We need something to neutralize that pH. So see how every case is different. And the toothpaste for adults that we have here is pretty much the same thing, but takes it a step further. So are you one of those people who gets white spots on their teeth? Or you have a cavity, you know, 10 cavities every time you come in. Um, your teeth, you might have been told you have thin, weak enamel. Well, you need something like this to, again, first, bring that pH down. So this has xylitol, but it also has um, sodium fluoride as well. So it does a little bit of both, which is perfect. This is the toothpaste that I use, okay? So if your dental hygienist is using something, take note, you should be using it too, because this toothpaste helps to stop, again, sorry if I sound like I'm repeating myself, but sometimes you have to do that, right? It stops that pH from becoming acidic in the first place, but it will also protect the teeth. Use this every day, twice a day. You will not get any cavities. You know, I can't promise, but this is a good first step, right? So we have so many things that will go so much more than just simply telling you guys to brush and floss. We have rinses. We have different toothpaste. You know, there is no such thing as me saying to a patient, you just need to brush and floss, see you in six months. I don't let a patient leave until we can solve what their problem is. You know, whether you get a lot of cavities, whether your gums are sore, whether the gums are tender, whether you get plaque and tartar buildup so easily that you do have to have your teeth cleaned every three months, whether your, your mouth is lacking saliva, um, your teeth might be cold sensitive, um, the gums might be starting to um, shrink away from the teeth a little bit because at some point you were brushing too hard. There's always a dental problem, but it can be fixed. Your dental hygienist just needs to take that time and do the research, okay? And that's what I do best. I love to do research. I do teach dental hygiene and dental assisting students also. So I'm constantly having to know what's out there so that I can teach them the same thing. So, you know, never think that it's as simple as just brushing and, and um, using the floss. But then also don't think that if, it, if you're never going to use the floss, you're in danger. That you're just, you know what, there's, there's just no point doing anything if you're not going to floss. That's not true. There is so much more to it. So thank you guys for listening so much. I will see you guys in the next video. Any questions, let me know and have a good afternoon.